Hi everyone, today I want to guide you through a self-portrait. This is a painting that I made to experiment and you know, just to have fun with lights and shadows, uh, creating a very strong chiaroscuro effect and seeing how far I could push it. To be clear, this is not necessarily how it would normally paint, but I think it's important to try new things every once in a while and it was a lot of fun to do. so. To talk about this painting, I'll try to just watch it with you and comment on what was going through my head when I was painting. So there you go, I hope you can get something out of it. And uh, let's start. Alright, so right here, let's pause. Uh, you can see my preparatory drawing, I made it with charcoal and white chalk. I uh, don't have footage about this, but you can have a look at my previous video on charcoal drawing. I uh, worked from a photograph because, well, simply because it was impossible to have both this kind of light and uh, enough light to see something in my studio at the same time, so I have had to take a photo, so I could not use a mirror. Um, okay, so this is my palette before I start. I wanted to show you the palette. So, as usual, for those who know my work, I start with, uh, with the black. I always start with the darkest color, because it's easier to relate all the other colors to this one. So, right here, I'm just trying to have this color and, and put a color right next to this darkest color and try to relate uh, the two, try to see if the difference between the two colors is the right difference. I'm not trying to make the same color, I'm trying to make the same difference between the two colors, if, you, if it makes any sense. I'm trying to use the largest uh, brush as possible at the beginning, trying to have very decisive brush strokes as much as possible. brushes using this eye socket shadow very strong this is part of the part of the idea of this painting very strong eye shadows but you don't actually see the eye you just see the eyelids Some highlights right here. This as light as I, as I go. Mm, this uh, shadow shape, pretty unusual from this angle to see the nose from this angle. But uh, that's how it looks. Like super strong. I wanted to make things so that you don't really see what's happening in the shadows and you don't really see the difference between the background and the actual shadows of the face. I wanted really the, the portrait to melt into the dark background. This was this was the idea. It's, it's actually more than chiaroscuro, it's like super dark, <laughs> super dark picture. <laughs> So I have a very light beard, so it's it was sort of hard to paint because um, it's not very visible. It has to be there, but it's it's probably half 
the color of the beard and half the color of the skin tones. So you have to mix it up. It's all about shapes and values. Anyway, it's like everything's about shapes and values, but transitions, edges. And right here, the, the neck is almost almost black. This is the fun part is what is actually black? What is the background and what is the actual portrait? And this is the part of the fun of this. lower lip receiving more light in this um, top of the chin creating a ball like right here and I have the beard interfering with the values and light so you can see right here poof here starting the ear the ear is usually the least important part of the portrait. You can basically just do whatever you want. Nobody will really see anything unless they look really closely. But it's, it's always better to paint it correctly. But I mean, really, you can just I could just leave it like this for the entire painting, and nobody would even nobody would even notice. This is all still fresh paint, uh, so I am going to leave it like this, and leave it dry like this, come back later, but right now this sort of patchiness is, is what I'm looking for. So I'll make my beard look just a little bit darker, not too much though. You don't really see my beard that much. So if you want to explore more possibilities and learn more about the technique, I made a complete 5 hours video guide called the Practical Guide to Oil Painting Techniques and Materials. You'll find the link in the description box. This video guide covers everything you need to know about oil painting. It is pretty technical, but it covers all the aspects of oil painting. The part 1 is about the painting surface, part 2 is about paint and color, Part 3 is about additives and mediums, and part 4 is about brushes and brushwork. 
This guide is as clear and complete as possible and it is good for every skill level. It is designed to review many options for oil painting and not just demonstrate one way of painting. This way you don't have to imitate what I do, you can get the knowledge to come up with your own painting process. This video is really a practical guide where you'll learn all the technical knowledge to get a good start. It comes with a 2 hours painting demonstration where you can see everything there is to know about the painting process. If you're a beginner and don't know where to start, this video can help you tremendously. I'm confident that you will find all the information you need and learn a lot from it. So now it had time to dry and I'm coming the next day. And um, and refining that, and trying to use the first layer, uh, use it, take advantage of, of the take advantage of the fact that it's dry, and uh, use it to complement the, the next colors I'm applying right now. So it's not about painting again; it's about painting and make layers work together. Okay, so this had time to dry again, so this is not a, another layer, even more refining. So yeah, and this is very dry and I'm trying to add more. Now I'm trying to add more texture and more variety and retweak things here and there. Doing this, I'm, I'm, I'm actually working on the, on the beard, and this is my finishing step. I'm, uh, applying another layer of black. You can't see on the footage, on the video footage, but it was actually a lot of um, small, annoying dust and stuff. So and glare and unevenness. So I, I'm just applying a finishing overall black layer of, uh, of still my the, the same mix just to finish and try to to make things look better but in the end not not work, just trying to work on the even evenness uh, of the entire painting there you go. so it's all dry and it's uh, easier to All right, and that's it. Finished. I hope you like it, and uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> if you made it this far, uh, really hope you 
got something out of it and if you want to help me make more videos like this one you can support my work by going to my tp profile and uh, i will see you guys for another video thanks for liking and subscribing and as always have fun painting bye